Hey everyone, Craggy again, uh, with another LEGO DC Super Heroes review. Um, I have the last of the the recent wave of DC Super Heroes LEGO sets um, that I've not reviewed. I have done most of them, uh, but there is this last one, which actually was the first one... No, it wasn't. It wasn't the first one I bought, uh, it was the second, just because it was quite cheap. Uh, and it popped up in Tesco's, which is always good uh, when you can just impulse buy something and when you're getting your shopping. And it is Brainiac's Skull Ship. Now, Brainiac's a character that has shown up in a lot of different ways, a lot of different versions over the years. Um, but the Skull Ship was one of the ones that appeared in the first, well, well one of the first comics that I picked up uh, myself. Um, when I was a little kid, there was a, a UK reprint comic and it had Brainiac and he was doing some shenanigans and Superman went to, to chase him down and he escaped in this, basically this, it wasn't exactly obviously but um, variations of it. Now, twice now, so far, you've seen this little bit pop out. Now this is a part of a gimmick. It's not even a missile launcher, it's just a laser thing, um, but it's attached, as you see there, with just a simple little two peg thing, plugs into here on the side. And you're supposed to be able to use the super jumper things to pinging someone into it and it knocks it out. And he's all dis weaponed, disarmed even. Um, yeah, it's a bit annoying, I would rather that it was just fixed on, but I suppose kids might have fun with it. Now, you see all these little tentacles at the bottom? The ends of these can be twisted around, so you can send them in different directions. And you can actually stand this up on just three of the tentacles. If you've got three on the ground, it'll stand up okay. But you can move them all so that they're all kind of swept back and it looks like he's flying forward and things like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, there's not a whole lot to the design. Uh, this bit flaps but it's not really, it, it doesn't do anything, it's just there. It's just an extra little bit of design, which is fair enough. The back's got nice purpley thrusters and yeah that spins but there's no need for it to spin. Cockpit opens and we'll get our first minifigure, but we're inside, first off, it's a little control panel, a couple of little levers, it's not bad. It's a good little ship, apart from this fucking thing. Right, <laughs> minifigures, Brainiac. He's playing black legs, um, but he has a nice head sculpt, well, hut sculpt, print, face print, he's got these little circles on his back, and he's got a bit of back print as well, and yeah, he looks pretty decent. He, he looks brainiac -y enough. He's got a bit of a, a scowl on him, which is, I suppose, okay. Now, of the minifigures that you get, the, the superhero minifigures that you get, first one is Superman. He's okay. He's just he's just standard Superman. But the alternate face on this one, whereas the the other one in the Justice League Javelin set, the Dark Side Invasion set, has a smiley face. This one has a scowly heat vision face. He's gonna fry some fools. You also get his cousin, Supergirl. Pretty decent Supergirl. I would have maybe preferred the the animated series version where she's got like the white t-shirt but hey this one's okay she's got a little smile on her face she also has a heat vision face which is pretty cool and the last one is Martian Manhunter who looks pretty decent um, he doesn't have an alternate face Although they probably could have got away with one. Uh, I would have liked if you'd got like a Martian kind of face. Um, I, d I don't know if there's a piece that would have worked with that. Um, they could have done something 
to, to make him a little bit varied. But yeah, he's got a nice enough print on the front of him. He also has a print on the back, just the way his straps going over him. Uh, it's a good combination between the modern and old school Martian Manhunter outfits with the blue trousers instead of just pants and boots. But yeah, he looks good. Looks good. And it is the only way, as far as I know, to get him and her and Brainiac, of course. Decent little set for like £25. Um, it's it's not the best one ever, but you get a good selection. It's actually, the minifigures are all aliens, which I suppose is kind of a cool thing. It, it might be a, a first for a Lego set, I think. I'm barring like actual alien invasion like booster stuff, but most things you get at least one human or a robot or something. Um, kind of amused by the fact that we've got four aliens defending Earth or attacking Earth. Good set, cheap enough, might figure out a better way of attaching this so it doesn't keep falling out all the time. I've got a few extra little pegs and stuff that I can probably finagle into that and make it hold a bit tighter. But other than that, yeah, it's, it's really quite cool. Um, I'm not going to get the, or I'm not planning to get the Aquaman set with Batman and the sub and uh, Black Manta just because it's quite an expensive set, same price as the Gorilla Grodd one and it doesn't look as good. There's a big bat boat and or bat submarine. Black Manta's ship looks nice and Aquaman looks nice but there's too much Batman in it. Too much Batman. So yeah, I'll wait and get the Disney Infinity. Disney Infinity? Lego Dimensions. It's the same idea. Uh, Lego Dimensions, Aquaman on his own, with his little submarine thingy that he comes with. Uh, I'll probably get that instead, just because it's a bit of a cheaper one. If I see the Aquaman set on like half price or so, I'll probably pick it up. But as it is, even I've seen it at 40 and it's still not a good enough price for me. The best Lego set for the DC superheroes is probably the I'm st I say probably the Gorilla Grodd one just because of the amount of figures you get. Although the Batmech's a bit rubbish, I've tried to make it in a Batmobile using some spare parts and eh, it's okay. But the other stuff's really cool. The Green Lantern set's probably best value for money. Twenty quid, you get Space Batman, Sinestro, and Green Lantern and the Green Lantern jet is pretty cool and the, the actual gimmick on that part of it works probably the best out of all of them um, yeah the Dark Side invasion Dark Side's just gonna fall over if you look at him funny as is this just gonna fall out just randomly so good selection of stuff like you get good minifigures in that but this set is probably the second I would say second best one to get just because it is almost as cheap as the Green Lantern set and it's a fun little it's a fun spaceship thing it's, it's pretty cool and you get even if you're not wanting to make it as this you get some cool stuff I and mean, you've got your tentacles you've got your clear power beam things power cord things and lots of clear green and yeah it's just, it's really nice um, really nice bits that you get with it to make it in, if you want to make something else and evil Superman is always quite fun. So yeah, thanks for watching.